everything now! An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Ah, 73 words per second. Pretty cool. What can I say? I'm good at some things, you know? Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Everything Now Corporation Call Center. My name is Tito Prank, and we are here to help people out, okay? People are calling in with issues, and you and I will figure out how to help resolve these issues, you know? And uh, let's do a little roll call, okay? We've got Laser Lady, we've got Mac Plays, Apple's Dragon, GoGo -Go Gadget 360, Yarkasm, Coffee and Cooper, Code Alpha, Theo from Eden, Cats and Baron, uh, Sweet Amelia VT, Tywin, Hey It's Aaron, uh, Phil, Phil, Phil Alexander, sorry buddy, I know you, and I'm sorry I did that. Sarcasmosis, Ford Venus, VTAC vs. The World, I Am Space Dad, Grass Dragon, Air Dictator, Idol Spork, Surreal Chemist, and the rest. Rob Man 1978. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Dinsdale Piranha. So, many ways you can interact with the show as we help people out tonight. Uh, Dinsdale Piranha, I know. I agree with you. Um, given that we get the studio eventually that has the implements for a cooking show, that sounds awesome. It's going to be a good time. I know that. Uh, Kinetic Turtle, Redolent Thought. First watch, first comment, welcome. Oh, also, Bun Fetti. I'm new and lost his, has anyone seen my glasses? Yeah, right here, there you go. Just go ahead. Uh, I really need these, holy shit. I need to try. Contact someday, Hillary Clinton's emails underscore. Great, so the ways that you can interact with the show uh, are the sound alerts, which are to my, like, right here-ish or so. Uh, you can put the person on the phone on hold. You can make them answer a security question to make sure they're not committing a fraudulism. And you can also make them send a visual aid. Uh, they'll send an image to me to help me understand their situation a little better. These images come from our Discord. The Discord link should be pinned in the chat right over here. Is that, uh, is that in there? Yeah, he did it. Good shit. He did it. He did it. Um, join the Discord, great way to interact with the show and to submit images for us to use. Uh, can we see one of the, uh, like an example image for visual aid? Just, yeah. Yeah, it's just to show what it looks like. Okay, right now? Y yes. Okay. Thanks. He's both playing with the, with the butter butter. You know he has to go back to the old him. Uh, his old ways, I believe is the meme. Great, that's what that looks like. Look at his hand, how articulated his hands are. Yeah, it's like those SpongeBob stills where Pretty they cool. very detailed drawing and whatnot. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, you'll also notice above me here, for $5, if the person on the phone currently, not me, you don't like them, pay $5. We will terminate the caller. <laughs> And also, if you subscribe, you get to sign the Get Well card. Uh, Harry, our friend Harry, is in the hospital now. Uh, does anyone know why Harry's in the hospital? Too hairy. He was too hairy? Overdosed Couldn't on his breathe, own. He had it all over his mouth Yep, and stuff. drowned in his own hair, just like Jimi Hendrix. And um, we want to wish him well. So you... What? Jimi Hendrix drowned in his own hair? Oh, that was vomit. Sorry. Jesus Christ, Tito. Very different. What? It's... Uh, uh, what happened to Bob Marley? Uh, wow, I, I don't know actually. So he wasn't the one who died on the toilet? Did Bob Marley die on the toilet? Was that him or is that someone else? Elvis. That was Elvis. John Denver crashed his plane. Did he really? 
Buddy Holly Bono crashed the plane Sonny that he was in. Sonny Bono was skiing and then ran into a tree and left a Wiley e. Coyote esque hole in it. That's pretty funny. What happened to Bob Marley? We're working on it. There's a whole movie coming out. Sure. Seems amazing. Oh, marijuana. He died of marijuana. He died. Oh, yeah. He toked one too many times. So too much yeah. And you know how many was one too many? One. Not even once, people. Um, signed the card for Harry, who uh, is in the hospital because he has too much hair. And also, if we get 15 subscriptions, you will get to go to a very exciting thing. It's a product pitch meeting with the Everything Now Corporation Fungineers. Okay, you're going to create a new product. You'll name it, say what special features it has, how much it costs, so on and so forth. Uh, you're going to like it. So please subscribe, give some subscriptions. If you're an Amazon user, please use your Prime Gaming sub. And uh, we'll treat you good. I promise that. Anywho, uh, yeah, he passed the duchy to the dead. Oh my gosh. God. You know, I should start. I should start reading things before I say them out loud. That would probably help my case. Anywho, uh, I think we're going to take our first call. Anyone have any objections? Anything that we missed? Engineer. No, I love you. I love you too. Let's do it. We're going to take a call and we're going to help a person out. Okay? You and me. Let's do this. Good evening. This is Tito Prank from the Everything Now Call Center. How may I help you? Hello. Hi. This is uh, Dave Malone. Um, Dave Malone. I'm having an issue with the product. Okay. Um, Dave, thank you so much for calling us. I'm, I'm glad to help you. Uh, what is the product that you're having a trouble with? It was the... Um, I got a birthday present for my wife. Okay. And it was that like sixty dollar like rosemary infused hand soap that I've been told women love. Sure, sure. And she still uh, won't look at me. Wow. Okay. And you got her the soap. I did. How much was it? The soap. Again? It was sixty dollars. It's a pretty big uh, bottle, and it's it's. Uh, it smells like clearly rosemary. not diluted a lot. Like it's good stuff. You only need a little drop of it, and it smells incredible. Wow. Uh, I feel like I nailed it, but she still will not look at me, and um, she still wants to sleep in separate bedrooms. So I was wondering wow. if there was something with the soap um, was defective. Well, uh, one of our uh, helping agents here says soap cures all relationship problems. This is science. That's so, what I was hoping, but I, it doesn't seem to be the case. It seems like there might be an external issue here that we can possibly hone in on to help you understand why your relationship is so much in the doghouse. Okay. Um, why did she start not looking at you? Why did she decide to sleep in a different bed in the first uh, place? I think last we spoke about it, she says she doesn't respect me and I'm mm. half of a man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But and I thought... Maybe I'm just not listening to her enough. So I got her the soap because uh -huh. I saw that her, I, I went into her phone okay. and I saw that her Instagram ads were a lot of like uh, beauty products and stuff and like nice uh, scented things. Okay. So yeah. I was like, oh, I'll get her that. And I guess she it didn't work. Hmm. Yeah, wasn't wasn't enough of a trick. Uh, also, it seems like you have sent me an image here to help me understand oh, the yeah, situation yeah. a little better. So I'm going to pull that up right now and see what we can ascertain from your situation. Your tits are huge. Never kill yourself. So did yeah. you send this to her at some point? Did you like... This was my last attempt to make things right. After uh, the soap? Before, before. Before the soap. So I she see. was going through a really hard time, a personal crisis, and uh -huh. she'd gotten laid off at work, oh. and uh, there was like an illness in her family, and she was really, really reeling. And wow. um, I wrote her that note, and I put it in like a very beautiful um, envelope, and she was like, Oh, thank you. And, and she opened it to read it. And I think she was expecting it to kind of like open up to have a long, like a longer message written. Uh -huh. And it just said that And she got very upset. She's also not very bodacious, I will say. So I think she also felt like it was kind of an insult at the same time. Sure. You're almost kind of calling her out on something, but yeah. you make her insecure. But I was just like, what? It, well, I'll make her think they are. But she, yeah. she could tell it was, it was not uh, real. Yeah, probably not the right move. Um, okay, well, now we kind of have a sense that things are, have gone south in your relationship. Yeah, and I think, I, I'm just wondering because like the soap, I think it should have fixed pretty much everything. 
You and think one and done. Yeah, I here's think it was soap. just like, wow, here's a really good gift. Uh, he clearly understands me and loves me. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe there is something more to him. Maybe, maybe, maybe he could hold down a job one day. I see. So you have trouble maintaining employment consistently? Yeah, that's that's been a bit of an issue, but not like that shouldn't be her problem. You know what I mean? That's my problem. Sure. That's something I'm going. Through. That's that's I understand that, but still, you know, um, you want to make sure that you're picking up your. 100% of your 50%. Do you know what I mean? No, what does that mean? Can you it's elaborate on like two on people that? in a relationship have 100% of 50% of the relationship. What? And if you're not putting together your 100% of the 50%, Wait, then so you're not doing it do good. You're doing 100% of 50% of the relationship. So I'm doing 50%. Yes, but you're doing 100% of that 50%. But then that would... So it is just 50%. Because 100% of the 50% is 50%. And right. you ha you are liable for the fifty percent. Fifty percent of fifty percent would be twenty five percent of the relationship. Exactly, but you're doing okay. one hundred percent of fifty percent. Okay. Okay. I'm there. Um, did you use the soap? Uh, I I just smelt it a little bit, and it smells so good. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. got like a rosemary, like kind of citrusy thing going. Okay. It's okay. really good. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and see what my friends here in the helping department have to offer. I've been trying to start a YouTube channel where I review skate tricks. Go on. So I've been starting a YouTube channel where I watch videos of people skateboarding and I talk about like how cool the trick looked. And I actually, I just monetized it a good, couple good months ago. Good for you, good for you. I've made $16 off of it so far. And I think I should be proud of that. That's no easy feat, yeah. you know? And if you're partner cannot acknowledge that, then there's a disconnect. There's an obvious disconnect there. She got so mad because she's like, they repossessed our car. How am I going to get to work now? And I was like, they repossessed her car. I can work from home. Why did I'm they sorry. repo her car? Because we're late on a lot of payments. She lost her job. That's when right, I sent her the right. don't kill yourself message. And so your solution financially to her getting laid off was to create and monetize a YouTube channel where you review skateboard tricks coincidental factors they were just sort of happy you were doing that time. on your own yeah Got yeah it. i've really always wanted to do that ever since my knees gave out i was like well if i can't be a skateboarder mm -hmm. maybe at the very least i can review cool skateboarding tricks on youtube are you doing any of the tricks on the on the youtube show no i'm just like finding i'm mostly like uh combing through viva la bam episodes mm -hmm. and finding parts where they are skateboarding right. and isolating those. Mm -hmm. So that's a big issue too, is my YouTube keeps getting demonetized because, because you they're like, on. this is just a clip from Viva La Band. That's Viacom, baby. That yeah. is straight to the source. They're not going to let you do that. I, so. think it's, I think it's not fair. And I've been writing a lot of letters, but she's like, you can't just write letters to YouTube. You need to get a real job. For the, for the record, I'm surprised that you even got $16, let alone $1. Yeah, you know, doing pretty scheme. good on the shorts. Ah, I see. So I make <laughs> shorts where it's just sort of me reacting to Viva La Bam clips. The one that did the best, though, is when he's beating up his uncle and I go, that's not right. And it's me just kind of being like, come in on a close now. up, just yeah. being like, I don't think you should do that to family. Yeah. Bam. I'm, I'm happy that I'm happy someone is trying to take him down to peg. Yeah. And that days. one got forty five hundred views. So oh. that was my big hit. Okay. Yeah. Wow. OK. Good to know where you're where you're coming from now. Have you tried couples therapy? Um, yes. So I thought we should do couples therapy. Not her. If she says it was her, she's actually lying. She lies a lot. And I thought we should do couples therapy. And uh, we went one time and I did not like what they said. What I did thought, they say? I thought they were just like on her side right away. <laughs> and it was just like, wow. So now I'm just under attack. So I've refused to go since until we can find someone who I think like works a little better, like is like more objective. I, uh, you know, I haven't had time to find that person because I'm, I'm cranking out these YouTube shorts all day. I'm starting to think that maybe cranking out finding couples therapists might mean more to your partner than reviewing skateboard tricks as seen on Viva La Bam. I think she just wants me to be a breadwinner, right? I yeah, think that's I think that she's very vain and superficial, actually, if I'm being just between you and me, don't tell her I said that. But I think if I just I, if I think if I just started making money, she would just be quiet and she would just get over it. <laughs> so I've been trying to do that. Evidently, she's like, no, this is an emotional issue. And I'm like, 
you're just saying that because the car is gone. If you had the car, everything would be fine. And then I walk out of the room because the conversation gets too intense for me. Okay, I'm no, I, I'm, I'm noticing some issues with you for, it's like you are good at listening, but you just choose to be evil about it. You know what I mean? Like, no, speak on that. I, you know, she's telling you what's wrong and uh, you kind of immediately get upset at the idea that- Well, it's that... because she doesn't actually know what's best for her, I think. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, you saying that makes sense, mm -hmm. I would say. I, I kind of see who you are now. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I think that you have to go a little, you know, above and beyond the Call of Duty for your-, for your Well, wifey. let me give you an, ins an example. So the other day I was, I was combing through Viva La Bam episodes to isolate clips of, course. of skateboarding of so course. that I could put it on my YouTube short. And that's crazy because there's less skateboarding than there are shenanigans it's, on that there's show. There's really not a lot, but sometimes Tony Hawk shows up. That's true. And that's when I get my good stuff. I wish there was a website I could figure out what episode specifically he's on because that would save me a lot of time, but I just skimmed through it. Anyway, Bam's parents, right? Yeah, April I, and Phil. I went to her and I was like, look at these two. These two are happy. So you tried showing her Viva La Bam. I said, these two are happy. These two are doing well. They seem to be like really connecting. And she went, okay. And I was like, do you know why that is? And she went, what, why? And I was like, because their son is giving them a lot of money. Okay. And so their problems are all solved because they have money. And so I'm working on that right now. I, okay, well look, sir. And then uh, she had to go to the hospital and the conversation ended. Why'd she have to go to the hospital? Family member's sick. Don't remember which one. Okay, D Dave, I have to put you on hold. Uh, an annoying co-worker's trying to get my attention here. But I will, uh, I'll be right back, okay? We're going to figure out a solution to your problems. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch my wall. Don't. All right. I'll Please don't. I'll Get I'll some be, air. I'll be right over here. Go outside. I'll be right over here. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. <laughs> Boo is right. Boo is right. Unlike other coworkers, look, I like some of my coworkers, okay? But then there's some people who just. <laughs> Pardon me. There's just some people who can't read the room, you know? Oh, Hello. Thank you. Office. Hello. It's uh, me. I do the gym stuff. The, I clean the gym. The hi. gym? You hi, clean? Tito, hi. How's it going, buddy? I'm making an announcement. Oh, okay. I clean the gym. Hi, everybody. Hello. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I just want to say whoever decided not to wipe down the pull down, the one where you sit down and you pull it down like this, I know uh, I've collected a sample of the sweat that's been pulled up around the, the bench there. Ugh. And I will find you. And from there, I have a very limited number of things that I can do as a means of reprisal for your act of, of blatant cruelty and cowardice toward the rest of the office. I'm I'm kind of toothless in that regard. You know, I got I'm fangless. I got no claws. You know, I just I feel like I kind of am just here as a sort of a what's the way to say this? You just sort of I'm, I'm feckless. I have no. Uh, no role here other than to just be present and to sort of pretend to have a job and that's eating away at me every single day and uh but again once i know who you are i'll be able to give you sort of a stern look and that's the full extent of uh what's available to me in terms of uh punishment for you okay are you, are you even going to report it like you can send it to the proper tito. authorities tito how are you i'm good man i'm that's... making an announcement yeah i know yeah i, I heard you uh, loud oh you clear. heard that yeah yeah, I, I can't tell if they can hear me. Can everybody hear me? Can I... Can everybody hear me? Thank you. I don't know why they're clapping. <laughs> we love this. Oh, see, they love your announcements. Thank you. See, you... you. Thank you. You've got fans. You should uh, run for office. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, hey, you guys. You, that was a... Hey, look, who, who am I? Terminator. Yeah, but not... No, what, who am I, really? I'm all of you in the gym, in the work gym, in the office gym. Lifting. Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. You talk about being feckless, but it seems like you have a gig here being like <laughs> the morning announcements guy at work. Oh my God. Oh, I could shift and reprioritize. I could do announcements. That's what, there you go. Oh my God. I did that at school for a while until I said that thing. What, what did you say, man? I gave a hot take on the Israel-Palestinian conflict. I gotta go back to work. Right. It was good seeing you. 
Good luck with your new announcement job. Ugh, well, I don't use the gym at work. Unless you call the kitchen the gym. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Oh, back to the skull. Hello, David, are you still there? <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, hi. Were you holding your breath? No, I just started thinking about my life and I got really, I got really angry and forgot to breathe. Sorry. Got it, like a kid, like like a little child. Got it. Okay. Um, anyway, so can you get me a new soap or something that's gonna fix this? I don't think soap is your solution. First of all, I'm sending you a uh, free year of IMDb Pro, so you can go through. You could do this on normal IMDb also, but it'll help you find the episodes what? of Evil of Bam that are just featuring Tony Hawk. Oh my God. Or any other skateboarders. This exists? It does exist. This is gonna change my whole life. Yeah. I think life's going to change for uh, in many ways right now. Do you have anything else that you'd want to say before I... Uh... Just that uh, you get it, man. You really get it. I mm. wish... I wish... Uh... I wish she was more like you, is what I'll say. You wish your wife was more like me. Yeah, because you definitely get it. I see. Is your wife on the premises right now? Uh, I wouldn't know. She is She is she's locked off the upstairs. I'm not gas. allowed upstairs anymore. Use the gas. Hit so the sometimes gas. she's upstairs, sometimes she's not. Kill him. Kill him. And I don't know, Kill I don't him. know at any Kill given time him. if she's uh, there. They, they wanted him dead. They sent $5. Yeah. Okay, they, uh, yeah. I don't know if she's there or if uh, she might be out, but I don't know because I'm not allowed to go up there. Keep anymore. talking and breathe in very intensely. So I don't, I don't actually know where she is most of the time anymore, but I'm trying to. Um, uh huh. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, great job, everybody. Yeah, fantastic work. We're a clap happy off office today. That's pretty cool. Um, you liked Dave, Creative Steve? You liked that guy? You liked how he talked about his wife and all of his issues? He died on the way to his own planet. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, quick, let's get a 15 subs to celebrate. Come on, thank you so much. Oh, oh my gosh, 15 subs right now? Holy shit, that's so cool. Unbelievable that we just got 15 subs right now. Right now, they came, 15 subs? Holy sh... 15 subs right now? Dang! It'll happen eventually. Um, if we get 15 subs, we get to go to a product pitch meeting with the Everything Now Corporation Fungineers. You will create a new product. You'll say the name, what it is, the slogan, the special features, how much it costs, so much and so forth. In three, two, one. 15 subs? That's crazy! I can't believe Blank gifted 15 subs. Exactly, you get it. Uh, I, I read The Secret every morning, you know? So I'm all about willing things into existence. Um, yeah, we're manifesting. That's good, that's good. What else? Uh, if you subscribe, you get to sign the Get Well Soon card for Harry, who was in the hospital right now because he is too hairy. He has too much dang hair. Has anyone, we have, not, we have had zero subscriptions. Zero people have been like, I'm going to subscribe to the show. Fair enough. Fair. Can't. It's a living. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Check out the sound alerts. Join the Discord. Send in images through the Discord. And let's help out another person. You and me. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the subscription code, Alpha. Please sign the Get Well Soon card for Harry. You can put an inside joke you have with him or some gallows humor. You know, I think that people appreciate that when they're in the hospital. Uh, e for evil. Hello. Let's help this person out. Let's do it. Good evening, this is Tito Prang from the Everything Now Call Center. How may I help you? Well met, Tito. Well met. Uh, in indeed. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Listen. Uh, okay. I'm do, listening. Do you like watching TV? Uh, I'm a pretty big fan of TV these days, yes. I love watching TV. What do you... What do you watch? Well, I have this te I have this television that I bought from you. Tito. Oh, okay. You have an Everything Now Corporation television? Yes, it's a Samsung. Oh, okay. Yeah, we And you know how when you turn your TV on, there's a little menu and you can kind of scroll. Yes. Disney Plus. Yes. HBO Max, Netflix, 
So PlayStation it's 5. Are you using a Roku stick or is this just... It's a remote. Got it. Understood. Go on. And also, what's your name? I'm trying to... I want to help you out. My name is Sabrina Cadbury. Sabrina Cadbury. Thank you for calling. Tell me about your TV. Thank you for answering the phone. It's my job. When I turn the TV on, and at different times of the day or night, I'm choosing different things off the menu, right? Some nights I want to watch Max. I mm. called it HBO, but it's Max. Properly, some, of course. Some afternoons I want to watch Netflix. Mm -hmm. And as I'm scrolling through this menu, every single time I turn my TV on, it's playing Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Do you know this show? Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with the program, yes. I hate that my TV always shows Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, and I'll tell you why. I, I love Gordon Ramsay's show. Okay. I love the UK version mm. of Kitchen Nightmares. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my TV, every time I turn it on, is playing the US version of Kitchen Nightmares. Not good. Now, there is a world of difference between these two programs. Sure. Have you seen both of them? I have seen the American version, but I feel like I've heard that on the British, British version, he's like less about saying clever cuss words and more about actually being a helpful cooking host. In the British version of Kitchen Nightmares, you learn about the person on the show. Uh huh. Gordon Ramsay is kind. That's... He doles out very useful and empathetic information. And the show is edited in a way where you understand what's going on. The UK Kitchen Nightmares trusts its audience to understand what's going on. I like that. It, it, it's slow editing. It, you can kind of like, you, you're being let into a world, mm -hmm. a small world, which is this very person's restaurant. Sure. It's an incredible show. Every episode is good. In wow. The, in the US Kitchen Nightmares. Sure, not it's, that. It's all of this, it's like edit, quick edit, quick edit. Screaming, no, yelling. Nothing's on the screen for more than two or three seconds. Right, yes. It's this souped up MTV energy drink pacing that is going on these days in media, you know? Yeah, and, not, too much. and not Celsius monster energy. Exactly, yes. They're booing the American show. They're booing American Kitchen Nightmares. And in this Ameri American Kitchen Nightmares, they're like, they're like, fuck. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just swore. They're like, oh, that's beep, fine. You, Gordon Ramsay, beep, and I'm beep, beep, and I'm mad, and they're screaming and throwing things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's very upsetting. Yeah. And you're learning nothing. Not good. Yeah, you learn. Yeah, there's there's no um, merit to the screaming and yelling. It's mostly just to make people feel bad, right? I, I've heard I've heard this before. With when you edit television every two and three seconds you trigger people's fight or flight response. Wow. And so you're sitting there sort of on the edge of, you know, fight or flight. Uh, 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 uh. You're in, a, in an extremely agitated state. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I told you my name's Sabrina Cadbury. Yes, you did. I changed my name. Oh. <laughs> Go on, what did you change it from? It used to be Sabrina Tornado. Uh, no. <laughs> Sabrina Torpedo. So your name used to be Sabrina Torpedo. Yes. And you've changed it. Sabrina Cadbury. Now, was this a uh, a marriage uh, name change or was this? Chosen. You chose this. Chose a better name. Than Torpedo. Because Torpedo's, you know, that is my family name and my family's American. And I chose Sabrina Cadbury. Because I that's, see. That, that's more British. I, is it safe for me to say that you are an Anglophile? No. Okay. I'm sorry that I said that. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not upset. Okay. I just think that's I just think you're kind of you kind of jumped to a conclusion there. Yeah, I don't want to generalize, I suppose. Uh, cuz uh, uh oh, thank you for the subscription. Um I am just saying that I like the UK version of Kitchen Nightmares. Mm -hmm. I like Nigella Lawson. I remember her. And I like Jamie Oliver. You I like, like Jamie British Oliver. British Food shows. Great British Bake Off. They're slower. I like the British Bake Off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone's nice to each other. Yep. Everyone understands the concept of empathy. True. That's true. That's what makes those shows really nice and comfortable to watch. Yeah. So, do you live with anybody? Yes. Okay. Uh, roommate or friend, partner? I live with three roommates. Okay. We share the rent. Because you may have heard this, someone say this before, but the rent is too damn high. Oh my gosh, I know. Tell me about it. 
ahead of his time. That and you that. wouldn't believe how much money I make at my job. Uh, plenty and plenty of it. Lots. Okay, got that. Very but, cool. But congratulations. The landowners here caught wind of that and they jacked up the prices. Oh no. So now I'm in this cat and mouse game mm -hmm. between my boss and my landlord and the owners of the grocery stores. We're all playing chicken. You understand? The owners of the grocery stores? Yeah. Do you work at? What? Wait. Where do you work? <laughs> wait. Oh, where do I work? That's a great question. I'm actually a truck driver. Okay, got it. Yes. So when you get back from your long haul, mm -hmm. you know, treks across the country, yes, you want to unwind, watch a little British food television. Yeah, but mostly, I'm just turning my TV on to choose whether I want Max, right. Netflix, PlayStation. And choose your own adventure, yeah. as it were. Exactly. I get it. And while I'm choosing uh, in the menu, Kitchen Nightmares is always playing in the background, and Gordon Ramsay's always yelling, throwing plates. Now, now let me ask you this, Tito. I'm listening. Is he a two-faced person, or was someone pressuring him to act this way? Was that his choice? Was someone pushing him? What's going on with Gordon Ramsay? Do you know anything about this? Do I? Know, well, all right. What do we he, know about Gordon Ramsay, people? He's very different in both shows. He is. Have you seen him deal with children? let alone his own children. No, didn't he just have a kid? He had a sixth child, I'm pretty sure. That is so good. Yeah, uh, there's some great videos from early pandemic where his daughters uh, film and berate him while he cooks in like a, a time, <laughs> a, within a time limit. Uh. That is so funny. And then they judge his food and then they kick him out of the house. And uh. he's all like, what, 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 what? So you just kind of uh. see him play the fool a little bit. That is so funny. Yes, so you can only assume that maybe U.S. Kitchen Nightmares is him kind of blowing off some steam. Well, maybe, you know? me and, maybe me and Gordon Ramsay are in the same boat because I think in America, everyone's sort of trying to... It's almost like you're um, um, like a, a dog or a rooster and you're like in a cockfight. It's like a big cockfight here. And they poke you with the stick and they poke you with the stick until you just can't take it anymore. They release your cage and before you know it, you've killed, you know... Another cock. Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel like a dog in the cockfight every uh, yeah. day in this country. It's true. It's true. Um, I, I have to uh, ask you, do you think that one of your three roommates is watching Kitchen Nightmares US and is the one who leaves it on? I never thought to ask. I feel like that is a... Um, you can approach this by talking to your roommates and saying, this show is very stressful for me. So when you're done watching the television, before you turn it off, please put on a uh, BBC Three, BBC Four, end that of would, list. That would be a great idea, Tito, and I actually haven't even thought about that. Wow. But I'm too scared to do that because my roommates are very angry people. Okay, they're very angry people. Interesting. Yeah. They fly. Up, they have a. They have a fuse about this short. Oh. They fly off the handle like that and you never know what's gonna set them off. Well, okay. I'm on eggshells over here. I mean, but you make a lot of money, right? Oh, yes. Why do you feel you need to live with these three roommates? Well, my, my rent is, my rent in this, you see the space, you see the view? I do, yeah, it's quite nice. You see this art? Mm -hmm. I decided to put all of my wealth into fine art because money is not really worth anything. You need to use your money to buy so something that's worth something, like a piece of art. Mm -hmm. So once or twice a week, I'm purchasing a very expensive painting or photograph. Wow. That's a way to live. Uh -huh. I like that. And I have homeowner's insurance. Oh, then... Yeah, you're... <laughs> yeah. Look, we all love the way that you live, okay? And I think, with all of this in mind, I think you... You're well within your rights to be a little dominant. I'm also ordering food for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and afternoon tea because I have no cooking skills. Right. So you celebrate high tea? Yes. Everyone should. Are you sure you're not an Anglophone? It seems like you're just really into British stuff. Other people drink tea. I met a man from Turkey, and he says they drink tea all day long into the afternoon, into the night. Yeah, so. they're going to start clapping for that till the second part of the sentence. Yeah, they drink dirt tea or whatever, right? Something. Dirt tea. Dirt. Like honest tea. Honest tea. There you go. Um, I think that you need to take a, a note from Mr. Ramsey and uh, be a little assertive with your mean, mean roommates. I... 
I think I understand what you mean. When yeah. they start screaming, I should start screaming louder. Exactly. And when they start throwing, I should start throwing something sharper or heavier. Exactly. They do that? <laughs> they, yes. They throw sharp and heavy objects? Oh, all the time. See this? Yeah, I see. I say, I gauntlet. say, good morning, Janine. And she, she says, don't talk to me. I go, Poom. A oh. block of cup that she threw at me. Oh my Poom. gosh. You live in the war zone. Jeez Louise. Well, um, I think that you should, you know, sh assert your dominance. I think that's important. If you are- Do you want a role play? Absolutely. Yes, I do. So I'm Janine. Okay. And you're you. Okay. Sa Sabrina Caldwell. Cadbury. Cadbury. I'm so sorry that they did that. Um, that's okay. Formerly Torpedo. I I'm gonna get upset in a minute though when we role play. That's true, so use it, use it, use it, use it, okay. All right. Um, yeah, all right, so go ahead and uh, enter the kitchen as you normally would to deal with your roommates. Um, Janine, sorry to Shut up, you. bitch, I hate you. Shut up. Throwing knife. Shut, shut up, Janine. Oh yeah? You ugly, stinking bitch. Oh wow, I haven't heard you talk like that. Huh, where'd you learn to talk like that, huh? I learned it when I was in the bathroom after you left and your toothbrush smelled like, like old, Food, Janine, you stinking rotten. Can I swear? Yes, you, I'd say you should swear. You stinking rotten brat. <laughs> I would say you could swear. You can use like a curse word if you, you want. Shit. There you go. Yes. Shit, me roommate. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, it feels great. Stop watching Kitchen Nightmares U.S. version. I want the U.K. version on the TV, and I never want to see the U.S. version on the TV. Never again, you. You stinking brat, uh, and you shit talker. Oh yeah, or or else what? What are you going to do to me or if else I? When you're sleeping, I'll take something and push it onto your nose. Okay, let's pause there. I, you know, uh, the I think your heart is absolutely in the right place. I think you're doing a great. Uh, this is a great start. Uh, well, give me, give me one moment. What could they possibly want I with the ten dollars? Just, just a solid. A, a nice thank you I for. Them, like, sort of tip 10, that's say, true. That's true. Okay, we're good. Um, you know, I would try and maybe think of some insults. You uh -huh. know, so that you're not saying things like pushing something into their nose, because I think that's not as threatening. That as would you. hurt. That would hurt, though. I agree. You know, I'm very sensitive and I have a bit a bit of a honker, uh, yeah. if, if you will. So I, I get it and that would Hey Janine, I'll take something and push it into your inside your ear. You okay. stinking brat. <laughs> I think you're you're on the right track, absolutely. And it's interesting because that does sound painful to shove something into one's ear. Yeah. Very scary. So I you know anyone at home, can you please give me some ideas of things that um, Sabrina can say to their roommates, stinking brat, we like that. Okay, good. Do all the holes. I don't know what you mean by that. I'll up your nose. There you in go. Your eye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And maybe into a cut that I made earlier in the day. Ugh. So you're like an open wound? Uh, yeah, I made a wound. And then later I'll push something into it. That's pretty fucked up and scary. Yeah, I'm afraid, says Jimmy Jules. Um, you can say, back away, banana breath. Do your roommates eat a lot of bananas? Yeah, everyone eats bananas. I mean, I'm all. Oh. You see, I don't have the Netflix anymore. I only have Showtime. It's really exhausting. Um, it's really exhausting to only have Showtime. I watch billions every single day, hoping to learn something new and nothing. I, I, I feel caught in a loop. Are you still there, Sabrina? Sorry. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just glowing. <laughs> Good! You should be, because I think that you are going to handle the situation very well. Me too. Oh, also, uh, you know, there's aggressive-aggressive, uh -huh. but also passive aggression. What? How do I do that? It's like you pretend that you're being nice, but in a, a, a way that sounds like you're actually pissed. And... Oh, I know, I know. Okay. I noticed the US version of Kitchen Nightmares was on the TV, and I thought, Oh, was there a stinking brat in the house? But then I realized there couldn't have been because you're not a stinking brat, are you, Janine? <laughs> That's perfect. If Janine were to hear you calling her a stinking brat, would she absolutely She'd lose her shit? She'd be devastated. Got it. This... She's cl she takes three showers a day. She's kind of like rubbing lotion on. She's anything but stinking, is what you're saying. Yeah. 
got well so i mean that's what i'm saying is that you're kind of you're you're really gunning for the thing that is going to make her feel and her attitude stinks that's P you janine there Your you attitude go. smells like garbage so i would say that um absolutely use these insults and these techniques but in order to in, like maybe uh, to offset the energy uh-huh. throw something heavy at them also you okay. know because the way you're saying these words yeah um might not sound like like war cries mm-hmm. you know like you don't sound like you're about to murder them so i think you have to show some physical force to i should throw something of mine so they're like she's really crazy exactly she's throwing her own stuff sabrina you're absolutely correct i think that is the right move here uh an appropriate response i'm i'm, I'm seeing here you can't shower away that attitude maybe i'll throw the tv at them and i'll say and it'll break and then i'll say now you buy a new one and if i catch you putting kitchen nightmares us on there you know what's gonna happen. I'll shove something in the wound I made earlier. I think you're ready to go. I think that you have lent, I think you figured this out. And I think this that- This feels really right. Good. I'm glad that you feel like power because yeah. you deserve power, you Thank know? Thank you. Yeah, I do, I do. Good. Yeah, Good. everyone's trying to undercut me and you know, underscore me at every, Left, right, and sideways. It's not easy being someone who spends their days purchasing fine art and no, it's not chilling out. You know, trying to watch. And and I didn't do that NTS trend. I or um, what is it? NFT. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't do that. You didn't hop on board that one. No, and Got Anthony it. Hopkins did. Oh, that sucks. That's dude. really sad. Yeah. Do you think so that he was coerced into it, or he was so stoned he, that I maybe... I think he's a little bit older, and yeah. I think there's people around him... Because he talks, maybe right? Maybe doing funny things with his money. He does what? He, doesn't he, like... I thought he was famously sober. Who's the guy I'm thinking? Malcolm McDowell. Maybe he's, like, the... Malcolm the McDowell. Joker. There's an old guy, an actor, who is, like, you know, maybe the one from the Hannibal Lecter movies. Anthony Hopkins. That's what I thought who it was. And he would, like, post videos of himself going, like... <sighs> Gee whiz. I haven't seen those, but I'll look it up right after we're do- off this call. They're good. I think you'd like them. Oh, great. Celebrities who have talked about smoking weed. Let's go. Harrison Ford. Number one. Cheech, Chong, definitely. There's three down. Classic, classic. Rick Steves. Rick Steves. Rick Steves is a to- is a toker. I Big didn't know that. time. Oh, yeah. Big time. Oh, yeah. No wonder he. Oh, Pete oh, Davidson does drugs. <laughs> Get out of town. Woody Harrelson. I knew that. Miss Khalifa. What about Suki Waterhouse? What about uh, Suki Waterhouse? Huh? Uh, I got Kate Hudson. I got Kendall Jenner. I got Miley Cyrus. That's it. Those are the only people in Hollywood who do wear marijuana? That's according to Business Insider. Wow. Hey. Wow. Wow. You learn something new every day. Yes, you do, Tito. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. I bet that Christopher Nolan smokes weed because he makes some crazy ass movies. That's true. I mean, how else is he going to think of ideas like the prestige? Yep. Sabrina, do you have anything else that you'd like some assistance with today? Can I buy, purchase you anything and send straight to your, uh, what is it, a penthouse, an apartment? Um, can you buy me anything? Let's see. Maybe. I mean, how about you buy a TV already because you know you're going to destroy the TV in this kind of exercise of power. I would like you to buy me a TV. I'd like a TV, please. Done. Done. That's it? It's on its way. Wow. Yep. This has been such a good phone call. I'm happy that you feel that way. Please stay on the line and fill out this very quick survey. It won't take you more than 35 minutes and just let them know that I've been a good person on the phone. Do you mind doing that? I don't me? mind not one bit. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're you're the opposite of a stinking brat, if oh, I could say so myself. Oh, thank you. That thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Anything else or are you 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 okay? No, I got to go to the art gallery now. No, oh, good luck. I hope you find something very cool, very exciting, very fine, and uh, that you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks. Have a have a wonderful week. Cheerio. Goodbye. Goodbye now. That was the best call I've had in months. No one died. They were a nice person. Yeah, that's those are the examples. That was just a great call. That was very, very nice. You know, I, I brought this up in the chat earlier, but you've been watching Great British Baking Show lately? Uh, not, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm behind on this season. It's lost all the, like, calmness to it. It's really intense now. 
Really? It's like just a competition show. Like, Why? It really doesn't have any of the like chill, like, oh look, they're baking a cupcake. It's like, you have three minutes left, bakers, and they're like, oh no, my, my little flower design. But what about uh, Noel Fielding? Is he like he, still? He breaks it up a little bit, but it's tense, man. None of them want to go home. They're all like sure. crying. That's most modern reality shows nowadays. Yeah, but that was the whole thing was the- It was polite and cool. It was an cool. elixir to all that tension. It was just like sweet people in a tent. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, you can't it's just stressful. Uh, that Margaret Thatcher, you know, I think she just kind of made things too difficult. I think it to was be. her fault too. Yeah, I think so too. Also Brexit. I mean, come on, that was so hard. I remember the taco episode, Tywin. I remember Brexit that. Was also Margaret Thatcher's fault. Yes, agreed. Anywho, <coughs> welcome to. Oh my gosh. <coughs> <sighs> One of my annoying co-workers is trying to talk to me right now. Sorry. But if you're just joining us, I'm Tito Prank. This is the Everything Now Call Center, and we're helping people out. Check out the sound alerts. Uh, $5, you can terminate the caller. Uh, subscribe, and you can say... Hey, Tito. Hey, what's up, man? Did I overhear people normalizing the Turkish state earlier? Did that happen? Oh, uh, well... Hey, you know, what's normalizing, you know? Like, what's a harmful amount of normalizing? Uh, just like only talking about how, like, they're cool, I guess, would be the way. I don't know if someone said that they were cool, necessarily. They just said that they drink tea. Did they say it in a positive way? Okay, maybe a little bit. Okay. Watch that, please. I will, I guess... Putting that on you, Tito. It's Putting my responsibility? Yeah. yeah. Someone is saying this is a successfully annoying coworker. Perfect. <laughs> Really, I don't see that. You, you see yourself as a, nor a normal coworker. What are they saying? I think I'm being. I think I'm being normal. I yeah. I'm not. I'm not annoyed right now. I I understand your qualms with what. Do I need to send earlier. you some Wikipedia articles again? I'm gonna text you some Wikipedia articles. Okay. Yes, please. Sure. I, I'm always always down to be reeducated properly. You know. Okay. Are you are you genuinely upset? No, no, no. I gotta go do the everything now show. All right, take care, Tito. Have fun. Jeez, does anyone even still watch everything now show? Um, send, yeah, yeah. Send the articles. <laughs> I don't think that was Dave. I don't think that was the guy that we killed because he was being so mean to his wife. Um, that was just another guy who kind of looked like him. Uh, that was Chris Chalakian. That was Chris Chalakian. Yeah, he's he's going to do everything now. Show that's what he does. You know, have the Rangers been winning? Maybe. Yeah, they have. They've been good, man. Okay, you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna stare at you for the rest of the episode. Fair enough. Um, well, I think that we should take another call and help somebody out. Oh, there it is. Are you ready? Get that helping muscle out. I, I mean your brain. Good evening, this is Tito Prank from the Everything Now Call Center. How may I help you this evening? Uh, uh, hi, um, is, is the line private? Uh, absolutely, yes. This the line, line is cool. There's nobody, there's no chance anyone's on here with us. The only, hello? Hello, yes. The only person listening to this call right now is me. Okay? You are safe. Are you some sort of mechanized response? No, no, no. I'm a Filipino man in his mid-30s. Can you, can you prove it? Can you say can you say something? Um, only that a mach that a machine couldn't say. Gee, they should have stopped The Simpsons at season eleven. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to prove my age. Um, so I'm trying. This is like a captcha right now. Uh, what can I say to not? Okay, you sound real. I I'm sorry. I do. Uh, for forgive my forgive my nerves. I, I get it. I just Look. can't have anyone hearing this, or I can't this have any sort of machine recording this. By answering the I'm sorry. You have to answer this uh, security question to no. make sure that you're not committing a fraudulism and that this is your account. Wait. N now you're doing it to me? Yes. I'm sorry that you have to do this. What is your full name? Uh, Michael Marcus Michael. Michael Marcus Michelson? Not son, Michael Marcus Michaels. Michaels. Like the art store. What? <laughs> the what? There's an art supply store called Michaels. I was just trying to confirm Oh, the, the, last, the last word, yes. But I don't th believe there's a store called Michael Marcus Michaels. So. No, there, I don't believe so. Michael Marcus 
Michael. Okay, took that, but also said that Triple M would have also been accepted. Sure, sure. Well. Is that the security question? That was it. Oh, thank God. So now I know your name. I need, I need help and fast. Okay, let me know the situation. I'm listening. I'm out of the house right now, and and I and if I get caught making this phone call, I'll be in horrible troubles. From who? My four sisters and their four large husbands. They ha they have got me under lock and key, and and I cannot be known to be making this call. I can't even be known to be receiving help on what I'm calling you about. You understand me? This is. Are you trustworthy? I have your back. I will not let anything bad happen to you, okay? Scout's on. Can you go into my account? I am in your account now. So then you see what the last thing I ordered many months ago was. I got the machine. I ordered the call me by your name machine. <laughs> I see that here now. Yeah. You spent that much money on the call me by your name machine? There was a huge discount on those things like a month later. Well, I couldn't wait. You couldn't wait for the, you had to get There's the, a horrible problem. My penis isn't large enough for this machine. Got it. And if my sisters find out about this issue. Sir. Go ahead. Sir, there's a label on the box that tells you how big your penis has to be in order to use the machine properly. That's part of the problem. That you don't have a picture of the box on the in the catalog. You only have a picture of the machine. It I bores see. a hole out in any food I want, and I can have, and I can, I can be having, I can be having sex. Right. With the food. I get. You that. understand this? I, yeah, I understand that. Yes. There's a problem because my penis happens to be too small. To, right. And there's no as small as I can make the machine go. Okay. I can make the machine go very small, but then my penis happens to be much smaller. Yeah. So I either need help getting a bigger cock. You need a bigger dick. I either need a bigger cock. You need a bigger Johnson. Or I need you to get a smaller machine. I need you to get someone on the, the phone that can fix this machine for me. Okay. Uh, would you prefer to have a, a bigger Johnson? I could. We can try and make that happen, I suppose. Um, or... I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what you actually want from this scenario. There's a lot of ways out of this. Also, how much do they know? You know, do they know that you have the machine? Do they know that? No, it's completely hidden in secret. I feed them their bedtime meal, and then I, and then once they're all asleep, that's when I go to town with this thing. You, and I've tried every food, and nothing. It, the the holes this machine bores are too the, big. <laughs> are too much too big. Hey, husbands, you guys seen Michael? He's supposed to serve us our bedtime meals right now. Uh-oh. One second. One Hi, second. You have to quiet down. <laughs> what was this? One second. One second. <laughs> what was the strategy? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Michael. Hi. Is this Garrett? Yeah. Hey, Garrett. You were going to serve me a tiramisu before bed. Yes, and it's on the way. I'm just caught in a horrible line at the deli. Uh, the, you're getting the tiramisu at the deli? Hey, what are you guys doing with my uh, what are you guys doing with my ham? All right, that's the deli, all right. <laughs> nah, that You that's, better hurry up though. That's what? my ham, man. Fuck oh, you. He, hey, Tito, he can't hear you, man. No? Okay. <laughs> no. He can't hear you, all right? This is I'm doing a distraction on the other phone I've got. You. I'll just shut up. What then. was your line though? I'll use it. <laughs> um, uh, what was my line? It was uh oh. Hey, what are you guys doing with my other ham? There you go. Is that it? Yep, that's pretty much it. All right, that's the deli for sure. But hurry up and get back here, okay? We're all so sleepy. We got to sleep in the big bed together, and you're supposed to serve us eight tiramisus while we sleep cross-legged in our big bed. Fuck. Fuck. Look. Yeah, I'll be there. I promise I'll be there. All right. And, and please, whatever you do, don't go in the cupboard below the... Ha um... Don't go in the cupboard below the counter. Well, I'll say this. I'm getting very hungry. And if I don't get my bedtime meal soon, I will start investigating in the kitchen for a potential I snack I could be eating. And if by some circumstance I find a bunch of fruit or things like that, I will start eating them. And I will investigate how they look while eating them. Don't eat any of the fruit in the house. Oh. You always say that, and I'm starting to wonder why. Hurry up with those tiramisus. All right. Good night, Garrett. I love you. Uh, or don't go to I bed yet. I will not say good night to you until I'm eating my tiramisu, and then you will kiss me on the forehead, as we do every night. 
That's right. Are the are the sisters in their massage circle? Yes, they're massage circling each other right now. Tonight's Wonderful. feet. Just make sure they stay relaxed. I will always do that. That's my duty as a husband. Don't ever, ever question me about that, Michael. Oh, I can tell by your volume you're very upset. I am. Are you hearing this crap? I am. <laughs> I am. This is a hell of a situation. All right, hurry. Is the deli... What's going on there? Oh, the machine just... The deli machine the just de went down. Shit. Nice. Or the slicer. Yes. Perfect. Oh, all right. The fridge just went out. Too. That's the deli, all right, based on that noise that just happened. No, you don't better hurry up and get back here. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. <sighs> that was risky. Do you hear that, Tito? Because you saying that the fridge wasn't working means like, oh my gosh, we have to get rid of all this product. Here, you take this tiramisu. You're done here. You know, what and they're going to think like that you can go home even quicker. Well... Yeah, the, you don't know about this deli. I'll tell you oh, what. Oh, okay, fair enough. This deli's a shit show. And and Garrett's going to believe everything I told him about the deli. Because okay. the deli's notoriously bad. Got it. it. And they know this. Okay. Look. Listen. I have... I've tried everything. I've tried raw meat. I've tried tomatoes. Don't do that. I've tried... You know, the namesake... Of the, the reason I got this was that movie moved me so much. And I wanted to fuck the peach, too. Yeah. And... Um, Dick too small for a peach? Dick too... Well... That's the theoretically, I should be getting away with all this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the holes that this machine is tearing through the food are much too big for my small, my small pecker. And <laughs> and I guess I just, you know, I'm I'm doing this because I'm afraid of going on maybe a, um, a date with a person, and I'm holding up a lot of conversations online these days to try and get to know someone mm -hmm. and the um it's just intimidating tito yeah no to be I, honest hey i completely empathize with your situation right now look hey, you tito, yeah you can try and make him get back out there in the dating scene but i can also send him the good luck chuck machine Having sex with a fruit that's like a little smaller, baby. Okay. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be called the American Pie Machine, I guess? Oh, yeah, that would also work. Same guy. The no, I remember. I don't remember that part of that movie. It's part of that movie. Okay. Okay, Filipino queen. Um, oh, geez. Tywin, do we really want to do this? Yeah. Do we really want to do this? Um, <laughs> are, you are you looking to get off in general or specifically with foodstuffs? I, I've never achieved orgasm at all. Oh, I don't. I don't say the word. That's how. That's I've how much achieved. you haven't done it. You know what this means. Have you ever been around someone with a newborn and they say he made? Yes. You know what that means? <laughs> like pooped. So so yes. You've and no one ever says to the parents of the newborn. No one ever says poop. So yeah, I've never achieved Tito. You've you've been horribly offensive this whole call. What? Yeah. I am so sorry. Okay, I did not. My, because Michael, because you just spat that O word right in my face, and that is disgusting. I didn't realize that the I'm word dying was offensive to, fuck to you. Peach raw, but I know. I'll never say the O I word. I know you are. Look, look. I have some solutions here. You know what I tried? What did you try? Pizza pie. Didn't work. Didn't you? You couldn't fuck the pizza. No, it's because the machine is boring these holes that are far too large. They they look like holes an animal would make, not a machine. They look like holes that an organic animal might tear into a riverbed. Wow. Or or like a mole might go through. The holes look like a hole a mole might go look, through. Look, Michael, there's two options here, okay? One, I can send you a uh, the Call Me By Your Name machine, perfectly normal edition, which is... Size down a little bit for the for guys like me for the common man. Yes, yeah. of course. Yes, or I'm talking to 20, 35 women and men online right now. Wow. Okay. Also, Michael, um, you, I could send you the cattle gun from No Country for Old Men, which should be small enough to puncture a little, you know, cavity into anything. Honestly. And it's not no. It's no. Call me by your name, machine. But Did you see Little Mermaid, the new one? Yeah. No. Because it because it, it, it was that guy, Javier Bardem. That, I don't know who that is. Okay, got it. And but Chibur. that guy uh -huh. that's in Country of Old Men, sure, going around and killing. Uh huh. All of a sudden, he became Ariel's father. Wow. Okay, I did not know that. Have you seen that? 
No, I just said I didn't. My sisters make me watch it. Really? Yeah. Interesting. You live in a very Filipino situation, I must say. Uh, of the... <laughs> and you're licking it up? What? <laughs> you know, they say that that does make your dick bigger. You know, you die, but bigger hog. So, Trade off. W? Uh, no cheese hole for old men. Okay, with that... Oh, jeez, look at the time. It's my lunch break. Gosh. Are we going to... Uh, yep. Uh, it's the Cerebro one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go to the training center where you're going to see people applying for my job. You'll ask them questions for two minutes and they'll have to answer them as quickly and as helpfully as possible. And then you decide if they get hired or not. If they don't get hired, they win some sort of prize. I forget what it is. But um, I feel bad for that last guy. I feel like we were so close. We were so close to helping him. And then he just really inhaled that noxious gas. He really liked it, it seems. Anyway, enjoy the training center. I'll see you in a little bit. Like the operators who handle telephone calls in my town. Here in the central office, you can feel the pulse of the community. The flashing lights on the switchboard reflect the activity of the town. Thank you. It begins to stir in the early hours of the morning. It reaches its peak in the rush hours of daytime. That's Pennsylvania Place, please. Thank you. And then settles back for the night. It's the job of the traffic department to handle this changing volume of calls. It has to be ready with enough equipment and enough operators, 24 hours a day, to meet the customer's demands for service. From the earliest days of her training, every operator learns to think of her job in terms of service to the community. This is information. May I help you? Yes, I'd like the new number of Wilson's Meat Market. 1191 Sycamore Street, please. One moment, please. The number is right 56240. Right 56240. Thank you. You're welcome. Operator. In addition to supplying information, operators put through all kinds of calls, many of them to out of town points near and far. And for each call they handle, they record the facts needed to accurately bill the customer. The calling number, the place called, and length of the conversation are all noted for use by the accounting department. Like the operators who handle telephone calls in my town. Here in the central office, you can feel the pulse of the community. The flashing lights on the switchboard reflect the activity of the town. Thank you. It begins to stir in the early hours of the morning. Your name and number? It reaches its peak in the rush hours of daytime. That's Pennsylvania Place, please. Thank you. And then settles back for the night. It's the job of the traffic department to handle this changing volume of calls. It has to be ready with enough equipment and enough operators, 24 hours a day, to meet the customer. Hey! Whoa! Welcome, applicant. <laughs> it's cool in here. Uh, yeah, we... It's very cool and cold. Yes, well. we have to keep it refrigerated in here because of all the uh, technology. Anyway, applicant, you are here to apply for the job of one of our customer service representatives. So in a moment, we're going to be bringing up some potential yeah. simulated customer service questions that you may face okay. uh, in the job. Terrific. Yeah, my name is Dave. Just I, I know you have my resume in front of you. My name is Dave Cole. I'm, uh, I am ran Spirit Christmas, the store, the year-round Christmas store. And uh, Spirit Halloween's been eating my fucking lunch for years, and I just, I'm just kind of sick of it. I'm looking to change gears, okay? Looking to uh, talk on the phone. Well, we're excited to have you. I'm not like these Gen Z kids who are too afraid to talk on the phone, you know? Okay. All right. You don't I have was to, a business owner. You don't have to explain it to me. I'm very brave. Go ahead and answer the questions as as. Uh, How long did I run possible. Spirit Christmas? Exactly six months. Uh, we operated out of what used to be a Best Buy, and uh, there, there were four raccoons in the air vents, and they were alive at the time. I killed them with this. Is Santa real? No. 
Uh, what do I think of the elves? I can't say. I don't think we're allowed to say anymore. Um, personal shot. Agreed. Uh, how long is my hog? Uh, can you... Are you allowed to inquire about the length of my penis? Yes, they're allowed to inquire about the length of your Six penis. Six and a half inches hard. Uh, flaccid, one and a half inches. Oh, shit. We it's, will double check that. It blows... It, yeah, it blows up like a balloon. Like one of the balloons at a carnival. I get it. I know what balloons are. Like a balloon at a carnival where you put, you know, when, where they... We're familiar with carnivals. Stuff. You guys seen the up? Please continue to answer the questions. I thought it was really bad. One minute. I didn't like the dog. I didn't like the way the dog talked. Uh, is Dave's wife really lying to him? Uh, women lie all the time, so I'm going to say yes. I don't know, Dave. Um, how much time off do I need? Whew. How much can I freaking get? You know what I mean? No, no, no. I just go up to Mammoth sometimes with my boys. We kick back. We do some, um, we do Valium. As an activity? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do when you're on Valium? Just hang out on the lake. Try and fall asleep quickly. <laughs> like you have a competition of who can fall asleep first? Yeah, we get on floaties that are kind of precarious. That's fun. I miss, you know. 15 seconds. I miss all the ones that have died along the way doing that activity. 10 seconds. 10 seconds for what? <laughs> Alright, I'll get the bowl up. <laughs> Favorite reindeer? <sighs> um, all of them. End of session. You know that clip where Trump is asked what's his favorite Bible verse and he says, I just love read I love reading the whole that was me yeah. with that answer. It's Sorry. It's a personal thing. It's a personal thing. It's really personal for me. Remember the, when he said two Corinthians? Two Corinthians. Doesn't that he say awesome. Genesis at one point? So Pretty good book. Look, can we can we be honest here? And I don't want to get religious because I know that that's you know not exactly an appropriate thing to do in a, a job interview. But the King James Bible goes hard as as fuck. You know what I mean? The way that the uh, uh, words are on the page, they read really good. It's the like Shakespeare. It's like Shakespeare, but with Jesus in it as well. Paul. Paul. Doesn't mean anything to me. Paul. Call these Saul before. And I think we got a yes now that I've you really inundated them with, with Christian stuff. I just want to reiterate, by the way, Spirit Christmas was completely irreligious. There was no whiff of uh, the actual spirit of Christ. I mean, maybe that's why we did poorly. I don't know. Or the fact that we kind of hung the raccoons outside the store as a kind of a sign. Don't, don't fuck it. Bowl finalized. You wanted to wait until terminating you know, applicant. You waited for a long time for until it, it became 15, a no. For a long huh? Time. Interesting. Interesting. Well, fuck you. <laughs> that guy was rude. Teleport in the next applicant. <laughs> wow, perfect. Good, good, good. We nailed that. Worked every penny. Hi. Doctor Jessica Jekyll. Perfect. Formerly. Dr. Jessica Frankenstein, before I took my <laughs> wife's last name after the wedding. Oh, congrats, Dr. Doctor. Jekyll, are you a medical doctor? I am the top, I was riddle. the top mortician to the FBI, federal mortician. Oh, excellent. You're going to fit in great here. Uh, we're, in a moment, we're going to bring up some questions for some potential customer service uh, interactions that you may have. Please answer these questions to the best of your ability. Great. I really want to work here. I, <laughs> I really like this place. How many gummy vitamins can I eat before I die? Well, I would direct you to miss the LA Beast's YouTube channel. <laughs> and maybe watch him eat about two pounds and you take a big rainbow shit and then see what you want to keep doing that. <laughs> How big is your hog? A hundred pounds. Does is brew oh my, my god, is a hot dog a taco? No, it's not. What is your stance? Oh no, skip that one. Skip that one, skip that one. <laughs> can you arrest me for dying or getting sick? Yes, I can arrest you, and I can Put something seriously uh, permanent on your record, too. Can you put my heart back together? Absolutely. How? Put you to sleep. You know, get a, I need two nurses to help me. Okay, what will they do? Nurses will hand me my instruments. And what do you do with those instruments? I'll slice, I'll stitch, and I'll push it together, and I'll blow on it. 
Okay. I will. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a doctor. I put a special <laughs> mint. I put a special mint under my tongue, and I blow on it. How many you've killed so far? Zero, zero. I haven't killed them. They come to me dead. They come to me stone cold. What's the best sparkling water flavor? Lime cranberry. Yeah. Bowl goes to milk, goes to cereal, or oh, bowl, cereal, milk. I do bowl, cereal, milk. Can you heal my hemorrhoids? Yes, I can. I can take you to the store and get you a cream. <laughs> favorite organ, favorite organ, the gallbladder. <laughs> we don't need that thing. <laughs> How'd you get your hog so big? Uh, corn. <laughs> and that's time. <laughs> End of session. My credentials. That's a bad. Please vote to decide if this applicant is capable of handling this job. Get me out of the morgue, people. I've done enough for the FBI. I've served my country, and now I just want to help people at this this uh, uh, customer service uh, uh, facility. Who's better, dead people or living people? Living people are much better. Dead people, they're not, they're not, they're not pretty good conversation. They, they haven't seen the latest movie, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I so true. You I know? know. Congratulations, doctor. You have secured the position. Please exit my way. Yep, oh. over this way. Thank yep. you. All right, let's. Uh, let's teleport in there. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, just. Bring yeah, come on style. in. That's That'll work. <laughs> Applicant, take a seat. In a moment, you will be shown a series of questions related to customer service. Please answer them to the best of your ability. Also, what is your name? Jacob Derulo. Jacob Derulo? Any relation, Mr. Derulo? To what? Okay. Uh, and um, let's prepare the questions and please answer these questions as succinctly as possible. I'm happy to be here. Red, Red Dull, Red Dull, give me no wings. I prefer Celsius. Not familiar, not familiar, not familiar. <laughs> Don't know any of these words you guys are typing. Angel or devil? Angel, uh... I, um, I prefer an angel-like lifestyle, but I like to act like a devil on the weekends. Um, can you play Wonderwall? Sure. You name the night, I'll come on over. Um, how to tune a guitar? Knobs at the end, make sure the strings are in. Can you tune a fish? You can, and this reminds me of a popular idiom my uncle once told me. You can pick your friends and you can pick your nose, but you cannot pick. Um, but you, and then he said, but you cannot pick the kind of fucking pizza we are ordering tonight, Jacob. Um, can you play Tornado of Souls? Sure, name the night. I'll come on over. Can you tell us about angel lust? Well, you put it in quotes, making me think it's a reference to something and it scares me to touch that. <laughs> Pick nose and eat it? Sure, name the night, I'll come on over. But you cannot pick my freedom. Look, let's cut straight to the chase. The job market's shit. I used to drive the train in um, Pittsburgh and those guys did not like the way I was doing that. Can you make me a sandwich? I love a Cuban sandwich. Marinated pork, mustard. <sighs> that's it? That's all that's in a Cuban? What is this room? What is this? It's our, it's our big room. It's our big room. <laughs> it's hot as fuck in here. How many wishes? It was cold. <laughs> many people are, feel differently. You know what? I'll just I'll go I'll go ahead and leave. No, no, no. So no, no. Please vote to determine if this applicant is qualified for the position. Is your name Jared? I I don't know what the job was. <laughs> Customer service representative. Somebody said Guns and Roses or something else. I don't know what that is. What is this fucking room you've brought me to? It's our big room you get interviewed in. It's a big interview room. It smells like applesauce in here. That's that's a you thing. Do you have a stroke right now? You know, 
you know what they say. You're really hot and smell applesauce. I'm in perfect health. I can do any job anyone's ever given me. <laughs> Did I mention that? Fuck. Uh, you should have said that earlier. You should have said that 10 seconds. We're not I just want to make a quick, a quick plea. Okay. Please? Bring in the next applicant. We're going to teleport him in. Ah, what's up? Whoa! It's Welcome, me. applicant. Hey, I'm Jethro Trump. I am part of the family, but I'm not like that. I'm not like I'm not about that. That's not my thing. Okay? They got their own shit going on. I'm not about that. All right, I'm my own guy. In a moment, Mr. Trump, you will see a series of questions. Please answer them to the best of your ability. We're starting the timer. All right. What does it smell like in the room right now? It kind of smells like uh, like a Lysol. It's got like a nice Lysol scent to it, is what I'm getting. Uh, where were you at January 6th? I was at my boy Skeeter's house, and he was playing some of the beats he's been working on lately. He's going to be a producer. I think he's so fucking talented. I think he's going to be like Kanye West. Like, he's so good, man. you got to hear this guy's stuff. I've never met a guy this good at putting these beats together, man. It's crazy. Um, do you, do you have big tits and should you kill yourself? Bro, that's a double no from me. That's two no's from, from your boy, Jethro. Um, are you a dogger or a fogger? Similarly, I'm worried that I don't understand what that means. And if I engage with it, I might talk about something really not okay that I'm not supposed to talk about. So I'm going to blow through that. But thanks so much for the question. Um... Favorite Lego set of all time? So the thing with me is when I make Legos, I like to sort of go freestyling with it where I'm not like making the spaceship it comes in or whatever. I like to make one big building with four walls that are completely the same and it just goes up and up and up and up. And I try to have the colors be totally asymmetrical and I just try to get the building as high up as I can possibly get it. And every time it's a competition of how big can I get this building to go up? Um. You ever played Frogger? Is that the one where he's got to cross the highway? Yeah. No. Um, you ever showered with your bros? So, uh, one time we all uh, went up to Lake Arrowhead together and we were, we were on a canoe and we actually fell in and it was like pretty funny. But we were all like so gross and grimy so we did take like a group shower but we still had our bathing suits on but we were definitely like, yo, this is crazy right now. We're all group shower, this is wild. And we did take a pic and send it to everyone's girl. Obsession. Everyone who had a girlfriend, we sent that girlfriend a picture of it. And we were like, bet you wish you were here. And one guy actually did break up with his girlfriend on that trip. It was wild. Would you guys take Valium and see if you can go to sleep the fastest? Nah, that sounds dangerous, bro. Yeah, it does. That sounds really bad. I wouldn't want to do that. I'm not about doing drugs, personally. I think it fogs fogs up your mind, dude. I think the the most fucked up you can be is clear, man. That's when shit's the craziest. Being on no drugs, that's when shit's actually so crazy. I don't know if you've ever like felt that, but like when you're on no drugs and you're just like raw dog in life, it's like, damn, bro, it is wild out here. Congratulations, Mr. Trump. You have secured the position as a customer service representative at Everything Now Corporation. Thank you, dude. What's your name? Uh, I'm just the sort of like disembodied voice that works in this You got a name, room. dude? I, no, no one's ever, no one's ever asked. What's your name, dude? I, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, can, can you give me a name? Uh, I'm gonna call you Snoopy. Okay. Okay? <laughs> All right. Snoopy, you just got a new employee and you also just got a new friend. I'm really looking forward to meeting you and getting to know you better. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Thank you. Should I should I disappear now? Uh, should I disintegrate of some of some way? I think we'll probably just go to the bumper. All right, I'm going to walk this way then. Yeah, that's good. Like the operators who handle telephone calls in my town. Here in the central office, you can feel the pulse of the community. The flashing lights on the switchboard reflect the activity of the town. Thank you. It begins to stir in the early hours of the morning. Your name and number? 
It reaches its peak in the rush hours of daytime. That's Pennsylvania, what place, please? Thank you. And then settles back for the night. It's the job of the traffic department to handle this changing volume of calls. It has to be ready with enough equipment and enough operators, 24 hours a day, to meet the customer's demands for service. From the earliest days of her training, every operator learns to think of her job in terms of service to the community. This is information. May I help you? Yes, I'd like the new number of Wilson's Meat Market. 1191 Sycamore Street, please. One moment, please. The number is right 56240. Right 56240. Thank you. You're welcome. Operator. In addition to supplying information, operators put through all kinds of calls, many of them to out of town points near and far. And for each call they handle, they record the facts needed to accurately bill the customer. The calling number, the place called, and length of the conversation are all noted for use by the accounting department. Like the operators who handle telephone calls in my town. Here in the central office, you can feel the pulse of the community. The flashing lights on the switchboard reflect the activity of the town. Thank you. No, that sounds good. That sounds like that that sounds perfectly swag to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, goodbye. Hello everybody. Welcome back. I'm Tito Prank. This is the Everything Now Call Center. How was the training facility? Did you enjoy it? Did you blow somebody up? I remembered as soon as I was sending you that you explode people over there and uh it's pretty cathartic. I got to say um, here at the call center, we help people out. People call in with problems, and then you and me, we solve those problems for them. Uh, for $5, if you don't like the person on the phone, you can terminate the caller. Um, if you subscribe, you get to sign a Get Well card. Uh, we have uh, an employee here named Harry, who is in the hospital, and, uh, because he's so hairy. And, uh, oh, someone actually signed it. Great. I haven't changed the coffee pot coffee in the pot since you left get well soon buddy that is so heartbreaking or really good gallows humor good job code alpha uh if we get oh my gosh a mere 13 more subscriptions we're basically there we're essentially there just send 13 more right away and we'll do it uh we'll go to a new product pitch meeting where you get to meet with the everything now corporation fungineers and design a new product and you get to name it pick the slogan special features how much it costs so on and so forth 13 subscriptions wow that's basically nothing that's basically zero subscriptions ah, what will you do join the discord send in images that can be used through the visual aid sound alert over here on my left play the sound alerts if you want to interact with the show and let's help out a person on the phone huh come on <coughs> good evening this is tito, tito frank tito frank right tito yeah Hey, Tito, my buddy, you don't have your phone with you at your desk, your cell phone? Oh, uh, it's charging right now. Buddy, I have, I've been trying to call you for a minute, okay? I had to on Do Not Disturb. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh you see gosh. all those calls? Yeah, okay, what's what's going on? It's me, Serendipity, your guardian angel. Se what's up, Saren? Uh, yeah, hey, hey, I know some people are like, oh, are you sure it's really you? Yeah, remember that time when you were when you were five years old and you dressed up like Buzz Lightyear and you jumped off the second floor of your of your apartment complex and you busted your head open and had to get 11 stitches across your dome and your father kept giving you grief about how much it was going to run up the, the, the debt of the family? Yes. Was, I was looking out for you, man. That week I got him in trouble at work for taking toner. That was you? Taking toner, yeah, man. That was a very rough fourth grade sorry, year. Man. Wow, Jesus. Okay. Oh, my God, this is strong. What? Sir, okay. What is this? What does what? Where where are you right now? I'm in Vegas, brother. Okay, big big question for you. Okay, God gave me about five hundred dollars to play with. Okay, we, uh, um, I don't know what this is. I'm looking at a big wheel. I'm looking at a big wheel. Lots of colors, lots of numbers. I don't know. I, and I saw somebody walk up and say, "Put this on black." Mm -hmm. And he threw the money down on the table. It sounds and, like uh, roulette. Yeah. Okay. So what am I? What's the move? You. What is the move? Um, oh man. My friend had a algorithm for this that was like a surefire way to win roulette. Uh, anyone in the chat here know uh, the best bets for roulette? Double zero? 
Is that really the best mic from space? Oh, Put it on 31. Okay, 31, but like what color? Is there a color thing? Uh, there's colors there, on the board. There are three colors, half on red, half on black, easy. Okay, 31, half on, okay. Uh, sir, thir 31, half on red, half on black. My chips are already on the table. Nice. All right, here we go. Red. That means we're taking 5% of what you just gave us and giving you the rest back. Okay, okay. Now, is that good? What's, how is that? Was it that seems okay? like they've just taken money from you and you didn't earn Sorry, anything. Sorry, let me explain. Your payout on a, on a, just a color bet is basically 5% less than what you would, than what you bet initially. So because you lost all of yours on black and then one on red, it you kind of broke it out into losing 5% of your money. Okay. Did you put all of your chips down? All five hundred dollars? Yeah. So what does that mean? Do I have more money now than I had? Before? No, no, you have less. Okay. Slightly do I less. have? But I have more to do. You have twenty-five dollars less. Okay. Also, you sent me an image here to help me understand yeah, the yeah. situation. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Better. Yeah. So let me just go ahead and download and pull that image up right now. Pull it up. Go for it. Okay. And you have sent me this still from a reality show. Funny this how is... my legs are wide open all of a sudden. I was talking to Gabriel. And I was like, uh -huh. look at Sno Snooky in this photo. Isn't she so funny? And he's like, that's not Snooky, dummy. And I said, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's Snooky. Anyway, we're not getting along too well. That's why I'm blowing off some steam coming down here to Las Vegas. Because you and Gabriel aren't getting along. We're, we're well, me, the whole the whole crew isn't really getting along. We were hanging really? out. We were hanging out with God, and he was we he wanted us to watch the killer. The, the new, new David Fincher. The new film. Fincher, and he got really mad that all of us were on our phones, and so we get, things got tense, and I had to split. I That's to Netflix's fault. You know, why isn't it at theaters, you know? Yeah. You know? Anyway. So, you have lost some money. Okay. Uh, we need you to get some money. Take your money and go get drunk instead. How does that sound? Okay. Someone suggested that. What's, um... What is drunk? I've been, they've been giving me a bunch of free drinks and it's not good. Have I, you been just, feeling? It tastes good. It tastes good, but it's not, I don't know if it's doing anything. You like the taste? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, go with 31 again. Can't miss twice in a okay, row. Okay, and maybe I just put it on the one color so yes. that we can get some closure here. Exactly, okay. exactly. Sir, 31 and put, uh, black, black 31. So are you putting it on 31 or are you I'm, putting it on black? Those are separate bets. 31. Okay, all of, it, all of your money on 31. All of my money on no. 31. All right. I don't know and if I should have put And my good friend Tito said that I should. No, I didn't. Here we go. Double zero. What does that mean? It means you lost. All of it? Yep. Hmm. Don't you get like infinite money because you're like an angel or anything no, like that? No, that's the thing. Oh, Tito, this is awkward. God's cut. God's probably going to cut me off after this. Um, do you do Venmo? Do I do Venmo? Do you do Venmo? Tito? I have, why, do you want me to send you money? <laughs> My at is serendipity69420. I don't know what that means. I died in 1488 on the Amalfi Coast of okay. consumption, okay? Classic what? citizen wants to put 100 bits on 31. Wow. Here we go. We should do a gambling stream. <laughs> yeah. You think we'd be the first ones to do that? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Here we go. Double zero. Wait, they put, what did they put it on? 31? 31. Oh, serendipity, I am so sorry. I I can't give you $500 right now though. I mean, there's there's got to be something else I can make uh, make this up for you with. You uh-huh. You sound mad. Yeah, well I am. Do you cash app? It's not, that's a, I do Venmo. I, will, I would send you $500, but I want to see if there's like, Something else we can do. Can I get you, you tickets to calling. a show? We understand your time is valuable. Please hold now. Also, Please I have hold to put while you one on of our right operators so finds sorry. the answer you're looking for. Be right back. Hmm. What's that? You, don't, you shouldn't be by the table if you're out of money. Oh. Is that okay? I prefer you walk away with fun. All, like, away fully? You're just making everyone uncomfortable. Okay. Why do you look like that? Why do I look like this? Yeah. I'm an angel. I'm a guardian angel. Uh, I know. Like Why are you telling movies? me that? Okay. Hey, look at this. Air Dictator in the chat says they'll front it. 31. All in. 
Let's go. Can I just can I say one more thing? By the way, I just want I just want I need your help on this. You can help me with this. Tito. Okay. I need to change my email address. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Because it was serendipity, and then the year I died, and I think a lot of people got very confused. Sure. And nobody believes that's when I died, and so everybody's assuming it's something else. Yeah, I understand that issue. Do you? Do you? Because I didn't. What was the email I had, again? I passed away in the 1400s, and so I don't know what that's about. What was the email address again? Just to. <sighs> I don't even want to say it out loud. It gets me in trouble. And well, I don't. And again, I. I have to change it, so okay, I need to know what it is. Serendipity 1488. Uh oh. Got it. I see what the problem is now. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember the number being that weird. Uh, I see. Okay, yeah. So let's go ahead and pick something else with different, with different numbers. Do you have any other favorite numbers by chance? Sixty-nine. Again, I God gets a kick out of that one. He uses that one a lot, and none of us really know what it means. How about this? Serendipity do thirty-one thirty-one. Okay. You like that? Be like BB. It almost looks like BB at the end with the numbers. It does. It looks like two Bs. BB. That's fun. Eh, only barely, actually, because you need the one in front of the three in order to make it look like a B. So it looks like serendipity do three B one. Are you still I guess there? It, uh, yeah, 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 I'm still there. What, what? I, was, I thought I got cut off or something. Double zero. I get, okay, see? Maybe I should put the, okay, if you Venmo'd me, okay, listen to me, okay, listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. We can have somebody in the chat Venmo $5, okay? Not uh -huh. to kill me. But the Venmo me five dollars, and we can put that down on zero zero. I see you. If I we get a five dollar donation over the course of this bit, it's very clear they want me to gamble more. Okay, that's how that that's what that means. Okay. Uh, oh. Goose putting a hundred on single. A hundred. Okay. Double zero. Single zero. Single zero. Single zero. There's two zeros. There's a, z a single zero and a double Technically, zero. Technically, there's three zeros. And they're green. They are green. They're not red or black. Okay. Very confusing. Okay. Here we go. Double zero. Wait, we put it down on single zero, huh? Yeah. No winners. No. Ha, mm. Okay, so I can give you. Are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. No, I... no, no. Hold on. Let me just clarify something for you, okay? Remember, remember. Thank you. Finally, some more money for gambling. Let's clarify that. Yeah, let's make sure and see what they want. More money for gambling is 100% what that's for. Okay, sure, yeah. Uh, are you at, you're wondering if I'm mad at you? Do you think I'm like retaliating? Look, let me just, I just want to reiterate. Remember that time you were riding your bike with all your friends and you were going down to the creek to catch some lightning bugs and you got clipped by that sedan? <sighs> I haven't the thought about your, the back of your bike got clipped by that sedan. Remember I haven't that? thought about the crick in years. And you and you had to go to the hospital again, and your dad gave you a lot of grief about how much that was going to run up the family's debt. Remember that? And then you got my dad oh. fired. Yes. That and and your mother's mother got sick. Your grandmother got sick. So she learned that she I was also responsible that. for your care as well. That I'm helping you. That's it. I don't know. That seems like you have maybe made my life worse in several ways. I don't, I don't know. see how that makes a lot of sense these these actions these moments in my life uh led me down very heavy paths that i could not go back from you've changed my life irreparably uh -huh. and now i have to speak to an annoying co-worker of mine right now okay and i'm going to just blow off some steam i'll be right back okay Terrific. we're going to get your money again go all right it. absolutely okay wow my guardian angel is an asshole who knew hey ah. tito <laughs> It's uh, it's me, the office chef. Oh, hello, um, chef. What did what did you want for lunch? What do you want for lunch today? Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, well, what's on the menu? Uh, I mean, I can kind of do anything. Just let me know what you'd like. I am thinking. I'm going to have a uh, a diner style grilled cheese. Oh, okay. I can't do that actually. Why not? I, I don't know how to make that one. Oh, okay. All right. Well, what do you know how to make then? Pretty, uh, most things. Sorry, I, I don't know. The how to one make. thing that I named, I which is a pretty make. standard item that you can I get at most restaurants, regardless I've of the genre of food. I've never melt the cheese before, so I, I just can't do that one. But what else do you need? Grilled salmon salad. I don't know how to do that one. You said I'm sorry. anything. <laughs> I'm. So, I don't know how to do that one. Most things. I should say most things. Hot miso ramen. I don't even know what that is. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, 
grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Again, that. I can't melt yeah, sorry. cheese. I've I just never saw someone melted put it in the chat. Before. It's, 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 All right, it okay. eludes me. Simple, easy. Just okay. a plain baked potato. Okay, I now how does that work? What are you talking about? You so put, I get a potato? You put it in foil. You put the, the potato in the foil in the oven for like a extended period of time. And then that's it. You've baked the potato. I cannot do that what one. What the fuck? Bread. Give me, give me another. Bread. Bread? Just bread? Yes. Is it? Are you insulting me now? Uh, kind of, yeah. You think I you can can't only make, make bread? Creme brulee. I don't know what that is. Hamburger. Don't know what that is. Glizzy. Don't know what that is. Toast and Vegemite. Don't know what that is. White rice. I know the toast part. Okay, you know bread. Yeah. Oysters Rockefeller. Don't know what that is. Milk and cereal. Don't know what that is. Bibimbap. Don't know what that is. Beef Wellington. Okay, you got it. Oh! That does sound pretty good right now. If I had my way, I'd eat pie crust all day, every day. <laughs> Only thing I need. Only food that I need. Ah, oh, I forgot my guardian angel's oh, hey. in Vegas right now. What's up? Hey, what's up, serendipity? Yeah, okay, look. Uh, I think there's only really one way out, and it's through. You know what I mean? No? What do you mean? What's through? I think there's only one way out, and it's through. You've seen the movie Oceans? The Oceans movies? The, the Soderbergh films? It, there were some other ones before with Dean Martin. There was the other and one. And the other ones. Ah, it's old and Frank stinky. Frank Sinatra. That's old and stinky. Sammy I Davis didn't Jr. watch that. Was, was Scott Kahn in those in that movie? No. I think so. I didn't think so. No, I don't think so. Was Don Cheadle in that movie? No. Mm. Those little tiny guy goes through the lasers in that movie? The tiny Chinese man? No, I don't think that. No, I don't think, yeah, I don't think so. There was a guy like that in the movie. Hey, thanks for having my back, man. I got you, dude. I told you I was gonna watch you the whole show. Appreciate that, Anyway, Chris. look. I, I thought you were going to do everything now, show. What are you doing here? Uh, it's my off night. Okay, I got that. All right, serendipity. So I think the move is uh, rob the casino. To yeah. Make, to get and then take their money and then gamble it at their at the same casino. Wow. They gave them five more dollars. Oh, you got five more dollars. Oh, perfect. Okay. okay. All on zero, zero. Yes. Hey, hey roulette guy, you need to take a break? <gasps> yeah, yeah, sure. I, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette. Oh, no. They're, All right, let me take over. They're changing. Uh, is this a bad? Willie left hand take a <laughs> They've got a fresh guy. They've got a fresh That's guy. That's usually oh, a bad thing, I think. Oh, fuck yeah. I love this. He table. looks excited. He looks ready to go. Oh, and he's God. fresh. He's coming in fresh. But even just like the physicality with which he spins the roulette wheel is probably different from how the last guy did it. So therefore, the double zero 20. seems less and less. <laughs> 19, 18, 17. 60, get your bets in. Oh, he's doing a countdown. 14. Okay, do you want to oh, double zero double again? Zero, double zero. But someone's saying it's going to be 31. Uh, Why would it be 31? Because it wasn't previously. So it's just kind of like how right, right. gambling works. It was, it was works. zero, zero a lot, though. I know, but now it's a different guy. Okay, 31, 31, 31. 31, 31. 31. all of it, $5.31. Right. Five. Willie left and spin the wheel. <laughs> I wish I was there. <laughs> 244. What the f <laughs> No way. Brand new number. Just what? Brand new number. That's what you get when you know how to spin the wheel. Brand new number just uncovered. Tito, you can't see it, but this wheel is really big. Yeah, okay. I can imagine. It's Vegas. It's like all as big as a... Brand new it's like as big as a... It's as big as a wagon wheel, like a car, wheel of a cart from when I was alive. Wow. In the 1400s. Or like the, the front wheel of an old British bicycle. Yes. Almost exactly like that. Anybody okay. else have COVID? <laughs> yeah, right here. I can't get Let's sick. Go! I can't get sick. Well, you're lucky then, I suppose. Uh, well, God. Stop the spread, right? Can you die? Hmm? No. Oh, then you're, you're chill. Who, who needs money, you know? I don't know. I'm kind of bored. Yeah, I imagine. I feel like that's what happens when people become like invincible or live forever or something like that. Everything's bigger in Vegas as big bright ship. What, what, what should my guardian angel do in Vegas, huh? Are you upset about that thing when I was 14? Is that why you're not gonna send, mo send me money, Venmo me, for fun? For well, fun I don't time? have that kind of loose change on me. And also you sent me another image to help understand your situation. Right, take a look better. at this. It's really something. Oh well, yeah, you should go to the big spear. Okay, so you've sent me this. Yeah. Turkey and gravy flavored Pepys. Uh-huh. Looks it, good, right? You think that looks good? I do. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make that real with all my money. 
Okay. I've been begging God on bended knee. Make this real. And he won't do it. Can you like owe me one if I give you five hundred dollars? I've been owing you. This is what. This is the. This is the sticking point for me, Tito. Is I've been looking out for you for a very long time. Whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not, I've had but your back. But I didn't ask for. So these all I'm to asking happen. for is I don't know a couple hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars, maybe I don't know a million dollars. I don't know what inflation is like where you're from, Tito. I died a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, fourteen eighty-eight. Okay. We don't need to keep saying that. Double zero. You're the one who chose it. What? I was in, How did you? Yeah. What, why are you back there? Finish my cigarette. And now it's time for me to go eat mine. Those are my footsteps. You can't see it, Tito, but he looks like a. No, big it ogre. sounds like a timpani. It's, it's uh, yeah. It sounds like a big ogre. He's doing George of the Jungle. Is he skipping around? He's doing George of the Jungle. And that's why the footsteps are making yeah. that noise? Okay. Anyway, I gotta go. And I'll see you, by the way. I'll see you next week for that thing. You're gonna be there? Please don't. I, I, I don't, don't know. Need, I think you you'll want me there. You don't need to do anything for me, okay? I don't know. I feel like you're gonna need me there. I feel like you're gonna, at the, very, at the 11th hour, you're gonna think, Oh, I wish that serendipity were there to help me out. Okay. All right, I feel like I owe you now, so yeah, let's hang out or something. Awesome. Really cool. Awesome possum. I heard somebody say that the other day. I'm hanging out. I've never seen a possum before. Double zero. Nice. <laughs> Dang it. See the Beatles love show? Yeah, sure. What else can you do there? You can go to White Castle, if they don't have that where you're from normally. The world's biggest gas station. There's some good stuff in Vegas. They don't have a white castle where you're from. Yeah. That's like they have white castles everywhere. No, they don't. You don't have a white castle in your town? No. That's I don't have sad, a. Dude. Well, I thought it was just kind of a common thing because it's only on like one part of the coast. Is that true? Are you being serious right now? Or what? White castle are only a East Coast thing. Yeah. Oh, of course, this guy. Yeah, in the Midwest. There's one in Chicago. Yeah. Not one. Yeah. It's from Kansas. And y'all got Culbers. I love White Castle's Culbers. White Castle's really bad. I've never had a White Castle. Yeah, who wants a steamed really burger on a bed of onions? It's really bad. It's like, really, really bad. Culbers, though. I love a cheese curd. Okay, a couple more calls. Great job, everybody. We're going to help another person out. We're gonna do this, okay? And we'll do better than we did with my guardian angel, Serendipity. You and me, help this person out? Let's do it. Good evening, this is Tito Prank from the Everything Now Corporation. Who uh, am I talking to? Hi, this is, what's that? Who am I talking to? My name's Old Nurse. Old Nurse. Hello, Old Nurse. How's it going? It's going A-OK -okay over here. How about with you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. I just need a little help. Okay, I'm here to help out. That's my job. So, so uh, I ordered a toilet on the internet. You ordered the toilet from us? I'll cut okay. straight to the chase. I got a skibbity toilet. You got... <laughs> did you... You guys sent me a skibbity toilet? Did you know that... No clue what the fuck this thing is. <laughs> pardon, the, pardon the language. That's fine. It's kind, of, it's kind of a fucked up one at that. It is. Yeah. yeah. So... I, so I didn't know what it was. I opened the toilet, I installed the toilet, and I went, and as soon as I opened up the lid, uh -huh. a head came rocketing out towards me yeah. and sang this sort of Russian pop song at me. Skibbity dope dope dope, yes, yes. Skibbity dope dope dope. That's, that is what the skibbity toilet does, sir. You did not know that that was going well, to I happen? Want, I, didn't want, I didn't want a skibbity toilet. You wanted a normal toilet. Yeah, I don't, and I don't mean to get upset. It's not my nature at all. Sir, that's okay. I understand. Um, I've just, I, we, none of us can sleep in the house anymore. This thing's going off at all hours of the damn night. Old uh, nurse, I promise you we'll fix this problem, okay? You know how I found out what it was? Had no clue how to search this problem. I searched head coming out of the toilet, nothing, nothing. All that of a sudden... A kid's walking by my house and he start he starts doing a Fortnite dance out so on my front yard. Okay. To this damn song. Ah. And at this point, you know, we hear it and I'm and uh, and at this point, um, you know, so what are you gonna do? What? Hold on. You okay, one old nurse? One of my sentences kind of fell out. That's you okay. That? Yeah, <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> Sometimes the it words to happen. Just, I think it's lack of sleep. Just kind of land on the ground. Hey, I'm experiencing that as well. I I, I had a 
clear mental, I had a clear image of what I was going to say. It was coming out. And then you just kind of did an inventory of the words that would be in the sentence. Yeah, my whole instead. body got really hot, and then one of the sentences just fell right out of my out of my brain. <laughs> so you want a normal toilet? Yes. Why would I ever order this wretched thing? It's all the rage now. That's most. It actually, there's more skibbity toilets in production than normal toilets Did these days. You say skibbity or skibbity? Skibbity, skibbity. Which, well, you just said both. Which do you say? So it's skibbity skibbity, you know, tomato tomato. Uh, well, I want to know the right way to address this thing, because it won't shut the, the up, to be honest with you. Honestly, sir, I don't know how the, the actual pr uh, pronunciation is. Uh, it's hot, too. I, I, <laughs> I speak in broken English, mostly, so. Yeah, you've been, are you okay? It's warm. <laughs> Do you need, wa do you need no, water? I run warm. I run warm. <laughs> I do too. I do too. <laughs> Sir, I'm I'm an old nurse. I'm old nurse. I'm ordering you a bottle of water right now. I'm ordering me one bottle of water. A single bottle of water. Great. I think it's good to stay hydrated. Um, and for good measure, someone said this earlier. I'm purchasing you a new television uh, just because. <laughs> How did you guys do that? Was that an Amazon drone? Uh, it's an Everything Now Corporation drone. What's that? It's a drone operated by us. Is and, it kind of like an Amazon drone? Yes, but instead of a drone, it's a drone that's carrying a guy who's dangling from it, who has the <laughs> object. You ever met someone that says water? Yeah, Baltimore. from, from uh, I, no, I thought that was like uh, Philadelphia. Hold on a second. Water. <laughs> I'm going to the rough to drink some wa wa water. Hey, Tito. Water you ice. <laughs> Stop your drone, call off your drone. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get all four bottles of water yet? Yes. Yeah, you ordered me four? Yeah. Oh, they're small. What's up, man? I was just saying, uh, Skibbity Toilet's on a YouTube channel called The Fuck Who. Really? Yeah. That out. That's cool. The Fortnite boy told me about that. Oh, you talked to the Fortnite kid. Oh, yeah. Invited him in. He had a sleepover. Well, okay. <laughs> Did you have a child of your own, old nurse? No, lost him. You lost your kid. Yep. When? <laughs> Did you say thank you to the, to the drone? That's the only way for it to stop. I, it, the microphone's broken. I've said thanks several times. Uh, oh no, that's not good. It's honestly kind of fun. It's more fun than I've had in weeks, thanks to the skibbity toilet. This so, thing's keeping me up at night. Most fun I've actually had was the, the little boy that had a sleepover at my house. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that one as much anymore. No. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It seems like you like the toilet. I, I got to say. Brother. Well, did you hear what happened to all the people in Abu Ghraib? Uh, I've heard. I saw the card count there. Not wanting to go to sleep. <laughs> so it's like Stockholm syndrome, but for you staying away. What I did with that boy? Yeah, I don't want. What did you do with the boy? I had sex with him. Okay. All right. Five dollars right now, That's people. The old nurse had sex with the little boy. Five dollars. Hey, so bad. You sent me a skibbity toilet. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't. <laughs> you sent me a goddamn skibbity toilet. I haven't slept. In Grant, weeks. what are you doing in my, in my <laughs> cubicle? <laughs> That's fine. I don't care. It's just. Did anyone hear what he? Ah! <laughs> I didn't have sex. That didn't with play him. at all. <laughs> I didn't have actual sex with him. I had the sex where he pushes thighs together and have sex with that. <laughs> Let the chaos stop just for that. I think I have to hang you know up on this called? guy. <laughs> I know, what? You know what that's called? Uh, where you're like having sex with the two legs. Yeah, you put the thighs together and you have sex with that. Sure, like, it's not unlike a titty fuck, I suppose, you but. 18 while we were doing that. <laughs> oh, well. Jesus. Nine minutes till the show ends. <laughs> Thigh job. It's called a thigh job. No, it's called something. Anybody know what that's called? <laughs> Femoral sex. Femoral sex. Thank you. Skibidi toilet. Sounds just so much better that way. Look, I'm I'm just going to send you a new toilet. Is that is that okay? That's all I've been asking for. Okay. See, easy. That's Done. all I've been asking for. Instead, instead, I've just confessed many crimes. Actually, no crimes because you turned 18 while we were doing it. While there is a there is a period <laughs> where the action has begun, and thank you. I have, it's recorded. I can show you the tape. 
Thank you, Jack the Splicer. Yeah, you filmed it? Okay, I got it. Great. Well, you have a new toilet head in your way. Do you have any... Okay, yeah, we'll just, we'll just do it. Any last words? Oh, you like it. You're getting high off it. Your dick is getting bigger because of it. Okay, got it. Great. Yep. Thank you. I love you. You. <laughs> you know, I feel like they don't deserve the gas if they enjoy it. I feel like someone has to go to that place and shoot them in the back of the head, execution style. Um, thank you, Jack the Splicer, for that. Shouts out Bioshock. Um, can we install the Skibidi toilet in the ENS Corp office? We only have Skibidi toilets. In every single one. Single-use bathrooms, the stalls. We have Skibidi urinals. Did you know that was a thing? It is. I need to go to like a priest or something after that last call. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure some things out. Skibby urinals. All right, I think we're going to do one more call. I said I think. I don't know if I will. I like, I would like to, but. Oh, wow, what a night. Thank you so much everyone for joining us today on an episode of Everything Now Show where we help people out. It feels good to give back, you know? Oh my gosh, 12 more subscriptions and then we'll get to go to a product pitch meeting. We've got seven minutes or so. Come on. 12 subscriptions right there. Nope, let's do it. All right, one more person to help out, to go out into the evening feeling like we've done a good, okay? You and me, you and Tito Brank, come on. Good evening, this is Tito Brank from the Everything Now Call Center. Who am I helping tonight? You are talking to Mary Alice Messinio. Mary Alice Messinio? Messinio. Messinio. I'm an Italian American. Okay. I'm 80 years old. Okay, congratulations. And I have been working construction since I was nine. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's 70, 70 years ago or so. Uh, wow, very impressive. What seems to be the problem tonight, I Mary? only drive the steamroller. Okay. It's Have you seen one of them before? Oh yeah. Big fan of the steam. If you haven't seen one of them before, there's one in Austin Powers. Austin Powers <laughs> drives one. Oh good. So if you don't know what the steam roller is at home, uh, watch Austin Powers 1. If you haven't seen Austin Powers, there's a scene in Roger Rabbit. Also should watch. Agreed. He good. drives a steam roller. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I drive the steam roller. That's fantastic. Is there and something I won't stop. Is there something wrong with the steamroller? These are the keys. It's the original steamroller. The original steamroller. From when I was nine. Yep. Oh my god. I still have it. How is that thing still working? It, you operate it by using one key for everything. Oh wow. Cool. This key makes it go forward. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to go backward, you have to remove the key. This key makes it goes backwards. Find the backwards key, put it in. Huh. This key makes it go side to side. <laughs> does, does, yeah, I was going to say, because the steamroller has like one wheel, basically, and it's in one direction. This so. is my steamroller. Right. Heard, Mary. Um, and it works perfectly. So I thought. So, what is the problem? All my coworkers are upset. They say, Mary Alice, your steamroller's... You're going too slow. You're not finishing the job fast enough. We're getting stuck nine, 10 hours because of your slow steamroller. And I said, I'm using the keys. You're operating it correctly, but uh, you know, the game of construction has just changed so and much over the years. That's exactly right, Tito. It's hard to catch up, hard to stay present and uh, you know, um, with the times, as it were. Well, the thing that scares me to death is it feels like my steamroller's going, working perfectly, and everything feels fine to me, but my coworkers are saying, you're too slow, Mary Alice, retire. <sighs> That's not nice. That's not nice. You know, people in their 80s deserve to work if they want to for some reason, you know? Yeah. There's power and there's confidence in that, and I appreciate and that. And everyone that I've had sex with throughout mm -hmm. my whole life sure. has been consensual and peaceful sex. Okay. That's good. It's all been healing experiences. No complaints there. That's amazing, Mary. You, it's, uh, you, you seem to live 
a semi-charmed kind of life in a sense, if this is the kind of biggest problem that you're- well, I don't know why my coworkers, they're chomping at the bit to get me off, kick me off this job they're in, site. They're intimidated by you, you That's know? That's what it is. They're, they're, they fear your wisdom, they fear your, you know, the experience that you've gained over the years. They want to do the steamrolling. That's true, exactly. They, I jealous. do it all. Seniority is a real thing. You know, we should we should acknowledge that and maintain that as a tradition. They can do something else. Exactly. There's so many things you can do on a construction site. Jackhammer. Jackhammer. Norm Tell the cars to go the other way. Yep. Normal hammer. Crack sickles says, "I love consensual consensual sex." Me too. Consensual and peaceful. Peaceful Pe sex. Na I, wow. Peaceful sex. All right. Okay. So, someone says retire boomer. Come on. No. More than a boomer. <laughs> um, Mary's having all the sex. Um, no, because only I can steamroll. Well, in my head, and I'm getting some, you know, some ideas here from my chat, but in my head, I was just thinking maybe you can destroy all the other equipment. So the only thing that's left remaining is your steamroller. So they need you. They, they'll need me then. They'll need you because all the other normal steamrollers have not working. Or you can break all your coworkers' legs and hands. And and their steamrollers don't have this mode. They don't. What's the what's that mode? This is this is luxury mode. Oh, wow. What's <laughs> what's the luxury mode? Seat seat warmer. Okay, okay. Yeah, steamroll <laughs> over the competition. Yeah, I think you just kind of have to lay the groundwork for yourself. Bring a gun to work. I agree with that. Yes. I should bring a gun to work. Yes. Because they're yeah. gonna, they they they're going to try and pry that steamroller from your cold, alive hands. Yeah. Because you have a gun. And there's nothing wrong with my steamroller. I mean, it's a little outdated. You know, it takes a, a series of keys to do various things you can do automatically in a it normal. It doesn't take me more than eight to ten minutes to fi to switch between modes. What are you building, by the way? Building nice, beautiful parking lots. Beautiful, you know, black, slick, glossy parking lots with very bright white lines. Wow. So that you can see exactly where to put the car. You know, it kind of looks like black ice. Mm hmm You know, in the wintertime. Sure. Beautiful parking lot. Okay. It seems like you're passionate about it. That's good. Yeah, and the parking lot goes all around, sort of like a moat. A moat. And in the middle, you have all your stores you want to go to. They're booing American Urban Planning. Oh, well, that is who exactly you should boo, I suppose. Um, oh, well, oh, would they boo REI? Yeah. Because that's the parking lot I'm working on now, <laughs> REI. I mean, look, everyone needs camping supplies. And REI is a co-op. That's true. Owned by the employees. Never forget that. Would you boo REI? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, they're booing and they don't even know what they're booing. Yeah, no, people just need something to boo at. See this? Yes. Had this for a long time. <laughs> Steampunk watch? Pretty it's just, cool. It's got a bunch of pieces on it. Yeah, yeah, it seems to. I don't know. I don't really know what it was. It was a gift from one of my lovers. Oh, okay. Uh, you see, when you have peaceful, consensual sex, there's perks. You get presents. Pretty nice. They're booing the steampunk watch. Oh, the youth hates you. You gotta, you gotta show them up. I just don't understand. You think Arya is anti-trans? Whoops. You don't, well, I mean, come on. It's, it. Oh, is Arya bad? Apparently. Yes. Oh shit. So. All right, we're gonna get out of here then. Unfortunately. <laughs> We would hey. like to formally apologize for talking up REI as a corporation. We had no idea that they were such bad people. And the guest who brought up REI is no longer welcome on this show, much like Adrian <laughs> Brody on SNL when he did the Rasta bit without telling anybody. Sorry for the trouble. We are so sorry. Please forgive us. And thanks for watching an all new episode of Everything Now Show. We do the show four times a week. We do it on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Weekdays, we do the show from seven to nine. Saturdays, it's from six 
to eight, okay? You gotta tune in and make sure that you follow or subscribe to this, both actually, you should follow and subscribe to this here channel right here on Twitch and make sure to join the Everything Now Show Discord. All of the visual cues that were used throughout the show, all the, the, the uh, images to help Tito solve their problem, those are all submitted by people on the Discord. So make sure to join the Everything Now Show Discord, okay? Please do. Follow us on YouTube, follow us on TikTok. We have all new kinds of content coming up these days. Not just the full episodes, which we have about 400 plus of on the YouTube. Look out for shorts and reels and highlights that are spanning like four to five minutes or so. If you want everything now show, you've got it. On YouTube. Chris can juggle. You guys check that out? I can juggle. Yeah. I can, I can two. I can't do a third. Uh, what else is there? Um, join us on... This Tomorrow Saturday, night, we have the, the. Is it marathon this Saturday? Yeah. We did. Oh yeah, we're shooting for another six hours. Another six-hour marathon on Saturday, folks. Tune in. Exciting. Chris, can I teach you a juggling trick? No. Guests just grabbed their head in shame. That guest is gone. Guest just went like this. <laughs> there were no guests on tonight's right, show. Yeah, yeah. Look. Hey. Oh, you just have to start juggling. Well then, what is, how do you teach me the trick? It's a quick trick. All right. The guest tonight, it was Danny and Kate. Come on Danny out. Danny and Kate! Hey guys. All right. Woo! So you look Slake at me and start balls. juggling? Slake. Slake my balls. Well, you have to just juggle. Yeah, I was trying. Juggle trying. normal, Chris. Juggle normal and I'm going to steal them from you. Oh, Go okay. ahead. Well, you fucked it. You fucked it. <laughs> I fucked it. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right, hang on, hang on. Third one, third one. And then I steal from you, you see? Ah! Oh, really cool. man. man, you can steal from me. Just treat my throws like your throws. Get in whenever. <laughs> he got one! He got one! Thanks, Chris. Right. Danny and Kate, thank you so much for joining us again. I love joining joining us, and I loved all the comments from the incredible viewers! See? Thank you, chat. They like you. We love having you both. Uh, please let the audience know if you have anything coming up. I believe, Kate, I know you made an announcement on Instagram earlier today about the fate of the best open mic in Cal California. California brought yeah. in the state. Best open mic in the state. The Funny Games open mic at the Elysian Theater is back in the theater at, at 5 p.m. on Thursdays. Let's go! And the people who run it with me, Joe and Megan, we have a show on December 4th. Nope. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be giving all this info out. Just follow me on Instagram. Kate's Instagram is in the chat. Uh, we'll put the guest command. There it is right there. Follow Kate's underscore opinion, which a friend of mine said is a fantastic Instagram handle. Today. Wow. So, congratulations. And then Rocky that. was like, you're crazy and wrong for saying that. It's true. Wow. I was like, that's weird. I put them down like a dog. Um, uh, Danny, do you have anything you want to say? I'll, I'll uh, double down on Kate's uh, plugs because I don't, I don't have anything until January 28th. Mm. Taking a winter hiatus from performance performing live because uh, it's it's just exhausting and it's not right to be doing so much. So true. And so don't true. tell us what's happening on January 28th. Just It's a surprise. Put a big, fat, juicy one on your calendar also for me. Go ahead, Chris. Chris. It's wrong to be doing live comedy that much. Naked Comedy is asking, Kate, what is the next smoothie going to be? That's an incredible question. Follow Erewhon's Instagram. They come out with a new smoothie once a month. I will be trying their smoothie, and I don't know what it is. It's a mystery to me right now, but you know I will drink it. Is each smoothie celebrity themed, or is that just a once in a while thing? Yes, and I have heard that the celebrities have to pay Erewhon $30,000 to get a smoothie. So it's like getting Because a, it's like a promotional thing for them. It's like getting so, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You have to pay to be a part of it. Yes. Stupid. And so I'll be starting a Kickstarter in 2024 for Kate's smoothie at Erewhon. A wonderful a use of thirty thousand dollars. Hell yeah! Thank you two so much. Oh, awesome. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna call it. And can we raid EGI too? Uh, yeah. We're still we up. Can. We're gonna raid Robbie Radcliffe and Alan Resnick and James so Trevor's EGI two. High five. From the brains of Wham City. Bye everybody. High two five. fourths of Wham City. Two five. fifths. Count Dino. Uh, anyway, Should thanks, folks. Like, is there like a high five emoji? We'll see you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Pacific for an all-new episode of Everything Now Show. Uh, Derek Scully, Caitlin... Oh, shit! And Andy... That's Lee, Rabble Rabble, right? Caitlin Linden and Andy Lee. Hell yeah! They're always a hoot. Now the that Rabble would be Rabble fun. Folks. That's going to be a good time. Uh, so we'll see you then. Enjoy EGI 2's. Tell them we say hi. And see you in the Discord. So long. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. I don't know I'm looking at the camera.